Good evening. I just want to touch base on the process, honestly. The, we reviewed and we listened to the process, but we talked about it last time. This process is broken. Honest God, it's broken. It's been almost three months or five months since last time we, this issue came to you. And here we go. We hear the presentation. There is only certain box that are going to be removed. The reason I'm saying it's, it's, it's broken because it's subjective. It's based on emotions and feelings of the people who are reviewing these books. There is no solid process that will tell these reviewers this book should not be here because of sexually explicit content. It doesn't make any sense. We pick and choose which books should be removed. If we have a solid process, objective process, that dynamically can remove these books that are sexually explicit, we don't even have to have a reconsideration meeting or review. Because we have a solid process in place that will eliminate all these issues. Second thing, I would like to uh, refer and hint to the point that uh, Trusty Hussein Berry mentioned. If you believe the law is against the board not to remove sexually explicit book due to lawsuits, I would love to learn how many lawsuits are there and how many judges actually rule that sexually explicit books should stay in a school. I bet you you will find none. Because it's simply against the law. These are sexually um, explicit content materials should not be exposed to these kids. Our neighbors, uh, my friends mentioned, that our neighbors, Durban Heights and Hamtramck removed these sexually explicit books within days. Actually, Durban Heights within three hours. I know some of you actually expressed their opposition, total oppositions against these books. And you have the freedom of speech. I'm totally shocked why you are, why you still silent and not saying that you stand against these books. Some of the elected officials in our city already said they are with these books and they support these books. So you have the right to say you are against these books and the constitution will protect that right for you. Lastly, I, I honestly hate to see people labeled you as um, supporter or woke agenda activist because the resistance to remove these books from these schools, it just paints you as you are pushing the woke agenda into our city. And I hate to say it, a lot of efforts and a lot of people are trying to push that destructive ideology into our schools. And I don't want to see you, the people who are trying to do or, enable the, or enabling them to do so. Thank you.